Ms. Richardson, would you like to inquire about anything you deem relevant? Yes, Your Honor, thank you. <clears throat> Miss Daybrook, are you friends with Todd Manning? No. So you're not testifying here today out of friendship? No, I was subpoenaed. I see. So all these kind words come out of guilt, perhaps? After all, the man was shot and presumed dead because he was doing a favor for you, which entailed helping save the life of the man you now love. Isn't that correct? Uh, uh, Your Honor, that's at least three questions, not to mention a couple of statements. We all know what she's asking, Mr. Freeman. Are you testifying out of a sense of guilt, Miss Saybrook? No, Your Honor, I was subpoenaed. But you're certainly not a friend of Blair Manning's, are you? No. In fact, you don't like Blair very much, do you? I guess you could say that's more or less true. But after this favor was done, in which Todd Manning disappeared, presumably shot to death, you had occasion to see Blair, didn't you? Yes. Was she upset about her husband's death? Yes, very much. She grieved? Yes. But eventually, she moved on with her life and began dating. In fact, it happens, she began dating the man for whom her husband was presumably killed. Nothing wrong with that, though, right? No, of course not. I mean... After all, you weren't still dating him then, were you? No. You were married then, weren't you, to someone else? Yes. You're divorced now? Yes. How long were you married? Seven months. You promised to love, honor, and cherish for seven months? Your Honor, that's... I don't think that question is relevant. Let's move on. Of course, Your Honor, just trying to establish how much her word means. So let's see, now you're back with a man who is the father of the baby Blair Manning is carrying, is that right? If you're trying to ask me if I love Patrick Thornhart, the answer is yes. Thank you. So then, you must be very upset that the man you love is having a baby with someone else, a woman you've admitted you don't even like. Look, I am just trying to accept the way things have turned out. I'm not assigning blame to anyone. You're not? And yet you come here today to testify for your rapist against Blair? I just told you I was subpoenaed. You'd rather see an innocent little girl handed over to a convicted rapist than allow her to stay with a woman who's having a baby with your boyfriend. Isn't that true? All right, that's enough. You leave her alone, woman. You leave her alone. You will sit down and be silent. No lawyer has a right to treat anyone in that way. She's done nothing wrong. Sir, if you say one more word, I will cite you for contempt. Now sit down. Ms. Richardson, if you have a question to ask this witness, then do so. But you will then give her time to respond, understood? You're not here to impress a jury, and that kind of tactic certainly doesn't impress me. Yes, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Very well. Oh, just one moment, please. Ms. Saybrook, since you know both parents of the child, Star Manning, which of them would you say would do best with the child? Your Honor, I was orphaned at a very young age. So I would say that a child should not be deprived of the love of either parent. True, but that wasn't my question. I really don't know. Neither parent is perfect. Oh, well, Ms. Saybrook, when you find the perfect parent, you send him or her to me, will you? Yes, Your Honor. You may step down. Mr. Freeman, your next witness. We'd like to call Asa Buchanan, please. Call Asa Buchanan. <laughs> 